Hi. Today I'm going to be doing my nails. Um, if you guys don't know right now, that is the flawless nail file that I got at Ulta for like 20 bucks. I have two of them because you can never be too careful. I've actually lost one and then I found one. I was like, oh, this is a great backup. Anyway, what you're going to do is um, file your nail, I guess. Yeah. Simple, simple, easy stuff. Um, if you guys do not know D&D &D Nail Supply, I don't know if you guys know about the D&D &D Nail Brand or DC Nail Brand. They are having a five dollar polish sale right now all polishes all gel polish and anything else will be 25 percent off i managed to catch them when they had a 40 percent off and i was like you know what? i'm going to take advantage of this because i really freaking want a LED light that actually cures my nails because I got one from Amazon I got I've had two from Amazon I believe and they sucked like I could literally just peel off the polish in one day if not the same day if I, if I really wanted to I could pull, pull the polish off literally pull the polish off like it was a damn sticker excuse me like if it was a sticker um that i put on my nails and it just really sucked i hated it i'm like i'm not gonna keep buying these cheap ass and led lights for my nails it's just not working i want something to where i could actually be like okay oh wow they're still here in two weeks later so i went off the deep end and bought myself a led light a high quality led light from dnd &D nails and I must say, I really, really like it. My nails will stay cured for a week, two weeks, three weeks, depending on how hard I'm working at work or working out or whatnot. But they actually lasted. So that was, that was freaking awesome. I love that. Um, I also took advantage of the, the nail polish sale. Um, the gel nails was five dollars a piece and i managed to buy five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty forty forty five fifty sixty five seventy about fifteen bottles of gel polish i mean i got a variety of colors but i mostly got like i'm a new neutral girl so i did a lot of browns a lot of mauves, a lot of like cream, beige, you know, just something that's really going to flow for autumn. I don't know if you guys know, but I am obsessed with autumn. I am an autumn woman. I love autumn. My seasonal depression, which my seasonal summer depression ends when autumn gets here. So that was awesome. But yeah. I'm still freaking filing my nails. Um, but you guys, just so you know, you don't need a code either. You do not need a code. It's Everything's already automatically on the website. You just put it in your cart, load up. I would totally take advantage of getting a LED light, a good quality LED light. I believe they still have some. Um, I think originally they are 100 bucks, but 40% off. I mean... That's, is it 40% off or is it 20% off? No, 20, now it's 20% off. So it's $5 pause sale and 25% off everything else. I mean, it's better than paying 400 bucks, right? Why not? Just, you know, go ahead and do it. Um, let's go ahead and finish up these nails really quick. All right, so I'm just shaping up a little bit. I'm shaping the nails just a little. Um... Uh, just so you guys know, I probably should have said this minute, I am not a professional nail artist. I don't want to keep spending 60 to 80 bucks to get my nails done when I can just go ahead and invest, what, two weeks worth? No. Two, 
gel manicures worth of savings and just buy my own stuff and just do it for free from there on out. I'm not going to. I'm also very introverted. I don't want to sit around people. I don't want to sit here. I don't want to converse with the nail artist. I want to. Oh, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do that. I don't. I just want to get up, do your job, get up and go. But I'd rather just do them at home. So that's what I did. As you can see, I have a lot of nail polish there. I got this is all from the sale. This is um, a nice forest green. I really like that forest green. It is so beautiful. Perfect for fall. And then we got like, oh yeah. Look at that color. That is gorgeous. And I think this is the ch mocha, mocha cherry, which is a nice brown cherry. Very beautiful for fall. Oh my gosh, look at that. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Ooh, I'm a pink. I love pink, so I had to get pink. That's a hot pink. Like, oh, God, I love pink. I wanted a lot of pink polishes, but I was like, hold on. That's not. These are the, those are the top and base coats by D&D &D or DC. <sighs> yep. Beautiful. I love that nice neutral beige and that nice marshmallow color. Check out this nice gray. This is what I'm wearing now that I chose to put on. Very nice. Very beautiful gray. I actually wore that one two weeks ago. It was stunning. Beautiful color. This is the nail prep hydrator. I put those on my nails to dehy dehydrate my nails and to just pretty much cancel all moisture and this is the ph well i'm struggling hold on oh okay give me a second all right so this is the ph nail i put that on my nail to kind of form the glue with the nail they say you can do it without like not using a base coat and just using that instead but i'm not i don't i don't want to do that i'll test it out later and see how that goes so I'm prepping. I'm dehydrating it real quick. Boom, boom, wham. Beautiful. Okay, okay. Very nice, very nice. Put that on in there. Le Magnifique. Love it. Beauty. Now here comes the awesome nail light that I got from D&D. &D. And it shines pink. You can choose colors on the website. I thought that was pretty cool. And I decided to do pink. Alright, so I'm waiting my 30 seconds. You see the light is on in the background because I hit the 30 seconds on the LED lamp to kind of keep up with how long I'm supposed to let them dry. This is the Beatles polish. I got this from Amazon. It's very cheap and it came with a lot of colors in there. I'm missing some. But it comes with a lot of colors. But the thing is, I don't know if it was the LED light that sucked or the polish that sucked. I'm going to try those. I'm going to test those out and see how well the Beatles on Amazon do. All right, now it's time for the pH bond, which is kind of like the glue for the base. Or you can use it in place of the base, but I would recommend not. But I also have not tried it yet. Well, actually, I tried it but with a really crappy LED light. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. All right. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do that. But yeah, um, I have been practicing doing nails, well, my own nails for about two plus years. Um, only time I go to the nail shop, honestly, is do eyebrows. And maybe I'll get like, it's so rare that I get a full set. I work in nursing. I can't, I can't do all this pushing and shoving with, na with long nails. I'm at that point in my life or in my age that I don't want long nails. I can't function with them anymore. I don't, they're not, I mean, they're still attractive to me. But right now, I can't. All right, I'm putting on this base coat after everything has dried. After my pH is dry, my pH bond and glue has dried. pH. 
after my dehydrator has dried I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up real good damn I don't have to shake this long but okay put it up there already come on <laughs> too damn slow all right so here we go here we go here we go and the one thing that I've I've noticed that I've gotten a lot better at now is that I just need to take my time when I apply this with polish. I don't know it's because I have ADHD, but I be trying to rush it. But you know, just slow down, lay it up there nice and flat, and come forward and smooth it out really nice. The best results is when you don't touch the sides like like get it on your skin because i noticed that if you get it on your skin there's it's not it's not anchored down so it's liable to just come right on up or peel right on up so you got to make sure like you don't have to get like the exact every edge like it's okay you it's okay it's fine you don't have to do that All right, so I'm gonna go ahead after it's done. Pick up the wrong one, I guess. Oh, dude. Gonna go ahead and add the base on to my right hand. I mean, honestly, it depends on my mood. It depends on what you like. You can just do everything on one hand and just finish that hand off. Like your base coat, color, top, and then boom, move on to the other hand. Or you can alternate. I mean, it really depends on you. There's no wrong way to do it, really. If you want to alternate, that's fine. Just be careful. You don't, you know, bump your hands onto something or forget a step. Sometimes I will have ADHD brain and be like, did I already do that? Did I did I put the polish on? Which What step am I on? I oh, know I couldn't have done that. So yeah, be mindful. Be mindful. Definitely be mindful because it gets real out here. All right, so we're not gonna sit up here and wait for this whole thing to count to sixty. So we're gonna skip ahead. Okay, so this is the color I selected. First, I call it white woman, but I believe it's like marshmallow cloud. What about <laughs> oh, white woman? Anyway. It's a pretty color. It's got some, it's got a little, little 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 tint on it. Little, little it's got a little spice to it. You know, she's pretty. It's a pretty color. Um, it's like a cloudy, marshmallowy, dark white. It's really nice. Um, it gives you that classic look. It's always I believe like a nice beige or white. I don't want to do white because white is so oversaturated. Everybody got white, 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 white. No, baby jump on this color this marshmallow cloud wait i'm trying to i'm really sitting here trying to see what the heck my the top says because it has a name and it doesn't look like marshmallow cloud i think it says moon okay my bad so it's called moon whatever still beautiful i would totally go for this type of white it's more classy more classic timeless very oh god i'm trying so hard not to say the demur <laughs> but it's very chic, very demure, very cutesy. I like it. All right, so we're not going to sit up here and wait all fucking day for this this shit to count down. So let's go ahead and skip ahead real quick. All right, so I skipped ahead. You're welcome. Had to save you a little bit of that torture. But I am now doing my second coat. I do my second coat. Sometimes it looks like you don't even need a second coat, but these god dang instructions say second coat, and damn it, I want the second coat. So I'm not playing. I'm not playing around. I don't want to do this again. I won't do it again. So, bam, second coat, second coat. And I'm just taking my time. Make sure you just take your time with your strokes. Just stroke. Take your time. Stroke, stroke. Yes, that's it. You don't really have to do too much. Don't do too much. Unless you want to do too much. I'm a Sagittarius, so I'm always going to do way too much. Because that's who I am. 
We're gonna skip all this because I don't know what the heck this is. Or oh, 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 here I come. So I'm cleaning it off the sides as best as I can because if you cure it and the sides and there's gel, there's polish on the sides, and you cure it and it's still attached to your nail, baby, that thing is gonna peel. It's gonna peel like a damn sticker, and you're gonna be very upset because then you're gonna have to do it again. So please, make sure the sides are clear. You don't have to exactly paint the sides, you know? Just leave a little space between the nail and the skin, you know? Let's go ahead and skip a little bit of this. I'm really loving this DND um, LED light. I like it a lot. Um, I'm go Sometimes I go in and I cure just for extra tin. That is the top coat, you guys. It's by DC DV Diva. This is the Diva line, which is just as good. All right, so top coat. You gotta have the yeah. top coat to seal it all in. Um, yeah, I'm using the Diva. No cleanse. You don't have to cleanse it after. I will say this, guys. Whether it be putting on gel nails or putting on acrylic nails by yourself, always make sure you have a strong base. Make sure your base is powerful, you know? If you don't have a strong base, then you do not, you're not going to have long-lasting nails. So please make sure that your base is strong. Always make sure. Do your research. You know, test it out. Test out methods to build a strong base. But I feel like in the nail industry, Thirsty. having a strong base. Because I would be so pissed if I just got my nails done and four days later, the nail just lifts up. Like the polish lifts up or the acrylic just lifts up. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> Why? But yeah. So we're just curing at this point. I really like that pink light. It is super fucking cute and I love pink and I just can't get enough of it. Okay, so I had to like clean a couple of them off because I don't know how or what I did, but I just kept getting like these little tiny black fibers on on my nails stuck into the thing. And I'm just like, I think I did something. I must have touched something. So I had to keep going back and just redoing it until I don't know what the black fibers were, but they were pissing me off. <laughs> I hate having to do more than what I need to do. I'm trying to get this done and go i'm already taking my time trying to do it so yeah almost finished I'm putting on the second coat here and then make sure you guys clean always clean up the sides if you got like see i got nail see yep you know, clean it up clean it up because you don't want that hardening on your skin because it'll become a sticker that'll just come right on up Now, I don't know if you if this happens to you guys, but if you put on, like, your top coat or your base coat and you cure it, does that shit burn your fingers? Because I have, like, when I put on my bottom coat and I, and I cured it, that shit burned. And then when I was finished and I put on my top coat, I put it in, and that shit burned. And I'm just sitting there taking it, like, I'm eating it up, like, all right, the things we must go through for beauty and maintenance. So, anybody know what that is? I mean, leave a comment. And let, educate the community on why that happens. Is that normal? I assume it's normal. I don't know. Am I burning my, my nails off? I, who knows? But damn it, my nails is cute. So, I'm going ahead to finish it on up. Yep, finishing that bad boy up. Filing it making sure everything's rounded out i'm really terrible at fi filings i need to definitely take a class on that 
um, you know, I just want it to be a little as perfect as I can get it. No more, no less. And that concludes this video, guys. I, I really do hope you enjoyed doing nails with me. Love you. Bye.